what's up everyone and welcome back to another one of my deck guides here for today i have a skelliger list for you that i've put together we basically have iced with a discard package that we are running in this deck it makes the deck very consistent in terms of getting the cards you need by the end of a match the leader ability that we have to go of is blaze of glory as you can see here this is an order ability it allows us to move a skelliger unit from our deck to the graveyard then damage an enemy unit by its power to synergize with the leader that we have we've got a yuta in this deck <laughs> basically that means with our leader we can do 12 points of damage the way we want to use this card is obviously we're always keeping this in our deck we're never playing it for deep play we don't want it in our hand and you're gonna use your leader at the time that you're playing iced okay but before i get into this too much first of all i want to run you guys through this list bottom up and just explain each card and how to play it best in this deck so to begin with, at the bottom here, as I explained, we have a discard package that we're running. These cards are part of that discard package. So what we want to do with these cards is we're basically keeping these in our hand first round. So our first round cards that we want to play are the discard package cards. Cards such as the Skirmishers, Haymade Skulls, um burner brand and coral okay keep in mind that's our discard package that we want to play together in one go to give us round control first round victory so this is a card that when discarded it gets summoned from the graveyard to the melee row the way we're looking to discard the skirmishes is through haymade skull for one as i said we've got other ways as well so you play this on the range row draw a card then discard a card so use the haymade skulls to discard the skirmishes if not you could use burner or coral once again discard package hey scald these cards first round cards then we have the invader here we are playing um king brain in this deck so cards with a veteran tag they're gonna have an added increased effect to them because of brand so this card will start as a six power unit at the beginning of round one what I'd suggest with this unit is play one into the first round because it just makes Hjalmar a lot more safer if you go into a bleed into round two and into round three, it gives you a good target for Hjalmar, okay? By round three, this will be an eight powered unit. Round two, seven powered unit. Good control, pretty nice to use. With the other one, just play it as you need to. It's not optimal to really go for the second one. Um, you could even discard it if you didn't get a good draw. Hey May Spear Maiden, this card feels great um, because it allows you to damage an enemy unit by two. So it adds to the control in this deck. Adds for giving us a way to get Bloodthirst for Ice. We want Bloodthirst 3 for Ice. And yeah, you could just kill something off, for example. You could play like Blood Eagle into a four powered unit and then it becomes a two powered unit. From your deck, you can thin one of these out and then kill it off. It just adds to the control effect in our deck. It's pretty nice. Play these when you need to. Round one's fine if you want to play one. Primal Savagery, I've gone with one here because it does, it can give us a lot of good value, really. At four provisions, it'll play for eight value, right? On death blow, though. Keep that in mind. So you get to damage an enemy unit by two, and then we're sporing bear abomination on death blow. A good target could be like if you're versing Nilfgaard and they play Blight Makers, wait till they thin out a mage assassin. That could be a pretty good target for bear, um, for primal savagery, pardon me, giving you a bear abomination. If not, maybe some tokens or whatnot you could find. If you're versing Northern Realms, um, Zeal kind of decks they play, Natalis, you could use this on Natalis too. A few different options you have to work with. Gunning Slash is just for a bit of control in our deck, that's all. Damage a unit by four. I'm starting to see mage decks come out again, so it could come in handy um, against the mages that are played on the melee row, range row, they get patience. Um, as the turn goes on, you, you want to kill it off quick, this could be the card for you. Got two on crate raiders. Um, what you'd like to do with this is, once again, try to play one in the first round, because it's just going to make Harold a lot better when you play him later. You could draw one of these back out. It's going to have order damage of two, and also later on its base power is going to increase because of the veteran tag and it's going to be nice and high anyway because we got king brand okay so with these i like to play one in the first round 
set up Harold as as I said, and then if we're going to a long round three, play the other one out too at that time. I have the on crate long ships in here just to give us consistency with ice for bloodthirst three. So you could play these both over a long round three if you like. It's pretty good. They'll give us consistent damage and just add to our control, add to making ice as good as it can be. Mokfag is a card that's a part of our thinning package. Whenever this unit enters your graveyard during the round, summon it to your melee row and give it doomed. Um, keep in mind that for some reason, if Yuta didn't go to plan, we're using Yuta with our leader. You could lead a Mokvag if it was left in your deck and it will thin out to the melee row and you do damage as well. That's one way to use your leader if that other combo doesn't work. But what you'd like to do with Mokvag is a first round card that you're going to look to discard through Burner, Coral or Haymade Skull. So with Yuta, as I said, we're just keeping this card in deck at all times. Just when we're playing Iced, we do 12 damage and we thin Yuta out onto the board gives us a very nice point swing. Skjordal feels great with King Brand, especially damage an enemy unit by Skjordal's base power. Into round two, this card will feel a lot better, but we're going for a long round three of that deck, so just keep this card over a long round three. Save it for later. It's a real nice card to have for control. Then we've got Burner. When you play Burner, draw up to two cards, then discard the same number of cards. So, you know, what I'd say, a tip with these, these discard cards that we have, like, don't go ahead and commit too much of your discard package unless you got Coral with you, because the way Coral's going to work is whenever you discard a card, you get to do two um, damage to a random enemy unit. So it makes sense that Coral should be the first card played before any of those other synergies. So you put Coral down, use her order, discard a good target in your hand, preferably, and then from there, you know, you're going to play Burner and then you're going to play Haymade Skulls. Like I said, if you're going first and your hand's a bit crappy and it doesn't look like you've got that discard package, just hold on to Coral and maybe wait into round two to get some better draws and you can do something then. But preferably Coral, Burner and all these other discard cards, you just want to get them out of the way in the very first round optimally. So as I said, we get to drop the two cards, then discard the same number of cards. So this could trigger um, a pretty nice point swing if you've got good targets such as Skirmisher, Morkvarg, and Corals on the board. Not only do you get points drawn to the board, but you do damage with Coral as well, so it can trigger a lot of good value for us. Then we have Hjalma here. We get to banish a unit in our graveyard and damage an enemy unit by its power. Pretty much the optimal target for Hyalma will be the Invader um, by the third round. As I said, it'll be a, a base power of 8. So we get to do 8 points of damage with Hyalma. It'll feel pretty nice. Gives us very good control over the board. Hyalma is a third and final round card for us. I've gone with Morkvarg Heart of Terror. A lot of decks are using boosting at this time. I think it will play great, this card. This should really be the first or sec um, sorry, the second last or very last card that you play in our deck. Obviously, you know, you want to keep in mind your opponent's last play if they play Osrul, Aglace, something like that, um, King of Beggars, and then you slam Morkvark down. It's going to damage it all the way down until it becomes a damaged unit when its um, base power's number becomes red. That's what's meant by that, okay? So it just completely resets the unit. And because we're a Devotion deck, we're not using cards like Spores or whatnot. So this is an equivalent of some kind of reset like that for us. So yeah, second uh, last card or absolute final last card, depending on what looks better. King Brand, it really adds a lot of value to our Warriors deck here because we've got a lot of veteran units. This is a veteran unit itself. On deploy, boost self by zero, but you increase the value by one whenever excess damage is dealt to enemy units. So that could give us some carryover in some sense with this card. At the start of the game, trigger veteran ability of your units. So, you know, you've got cards like Skjordal. So that means this starts off as a four base power. Um, the Raiders start off as a five. It's, it's really nice value that we get out of these cards here. Invader as a six. 
So yeah, pretty nice. And you can opt for Bran at the end of a match. Uh, sometimes he won't give you heaps of value around the deploy, but it could be better than nothing that's left in your deck at that time. So usually with Bran, what I do is I usually shuffle him back in the deck throughout a match and just come back to him um, round three. That's how I like to play. Then we've got Ice. Pretty much our win condition. It's got the veteran tag too. On deploy three, Bloodthirst... Um, on Bloodthirst 3, we get to draw a card, then discard a card. And then whenever we discard a Skellige unit during our turn, summon it from Graveyard to this row. So depending on what you have in your hand, you may have an Invader um, or whatnot. Just discard that on Bloodthirst 3. Let it get thinned out. Then you're going to click Leader when you've got Ice down, right? And you're going to slam Yuta into one of your opponent's cards and destroy it preferably. And then you get to thin out that card as well. So max potential, we get to thin two cards to the board. But if not, we're definitely getting Yuta to the board for sure. As long as it's in our deck. And we're using this uh, with leader. So this this will be like either a final or second last play for you. Or if, if it's just time to wipe something out on the board that's very important of your opponents. That's giving them a lot of value. Like maybe Gezras, Unseen Elder, something crazy like that. You could consider it. But try to save it really to the end if you can. Then we have Harold on Crate. What you want to do with this card is basically save it for its final form. This one here. Because we're playing Devotion, it will transform to this. It's got Veil so you can't lock it, can't poison it, bleed it or whatnot. It's pretty good. At 5 power, it feels a bit weak. It would be nice if it was at 6 to be honest. But on Deploy, we get to play a Bronze Warrior unit from Graveyard and give it Doomed. And also, whenever you're playing a warrior, you get to damage a random enemy unit by one. This card is great over a long round three because it can contribute to Bloodthirst 3 for Iced. Adds to control effect on the board. You can damage and destroy units easy with this. The optimal target for Harold the Cripple to bring back would be the Raider at that time. It will play excellent for us, guys. It gives us a unit which can cause damage, contributing Bloodthirst. It's a pretty consistent strategy, as you're going to see in these matches. Then we have Blood Eagle here. It's an Echo card. We get to use it twice. It damages an enemy unit by two, then allows us to play a Warrior from our deck with provision cost of seven or less. But if we hit it on the death blow, we get to play any Warrior from our deck instead. So this could give us access to some very important cards like Hjalma or Ice in particular. If we've got Bloodthirst 3, we always get to trigger the death blow ability. So that's nice too. Um, I did forget to mention the stratagem that we're using. Mask of Uruboros. Draw a card, then discard a card, and spawn two crows in your melee row. You might want to consider um, leaving space on the melee row. It might get a bit stacked with this stratagem and whatnot, and the cards you're thinning out. Uh, preferably what you'll do is, you're not going to hit the order on this until you have Coral down first, right? Because... The way Coral works, as we outlined, when you discard, you do random damage of two. So wait till your opponent has a unit down on the board, then you play Coral, then you play Mask to do four points of damage, potentially kill something off. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the list. Now I'm just going to go briefly over the strategy of how you'd like to play this deck, just so you have a clear image of what you're running for, really. So say if we're going first and we've got the mask down, obviously the stratagem, you want a bit of a proactive play first. You don't just want to go discarding and, you know, losing value on corals, discard damage. So you could go ahead and play an invader. You could play a raider or boat. Okay, that would be the final option. Say your opponent starts to play units. First card you like to play from the discard package would be coral, you know, and then you're going to thin out the skirmishes. Um, you can play Haymade Skulls then, trigger more damage with Coral. You can play Burner. Let's say you thin out Morkvarg and all those great cards. Fantastic. You get round control. Really, all you're looking to do with this deck is pass round two and go for a very long round three. Reason being is because we've got a lot of ways to answer the opponent's units and shut down anything they play. And also, we have Tall Punish with Morkvarg, which more than likely will win you the match at the very end. Because most decks are using a very tall boost to win matches at this time. And yeah, you're going to use all your other cards then over the round three. You're going to have Harold, 
You can have Iced, Bran, Hjalma, Skjordal, um, maybe a boat to contribute to Bloodthirst. And that's it. And I believe that will win you the match. This deck has been very successful for me on the ladder. I've versed many different factions, many different leaders, and defeated them, even top tier decks with this. So let me know how you go with it. And thanks for your support as always. Oh, we passed it. Well, we could pass this off. It's all right. We didn't get Coral, we didn't get Burner. You know, these are our first round cards. But anyway, we'll play into this. So I wonder if they're like Foltest this deck or... Foltest with Commandos, Dunbanners. They're gonna play Siege. So many different styles of Inspired Zeal. We'll find out what it is soon. Blood Eagle's nice to have. We can pull out a warrior with this. It'll be handy later on when we want to get our more higher costed warriors, such as this one here. King Brand's good option for later too. But we'll see how they play into this. Opponents taking their time a bit. Seltkirk? That's unusual. Unusual play. It's quite unusual play, my friends, to be honest. Wasn't expecting Seltkirk first play. But uh, maybe it's better for us to get this out now. Who knows? So our weakness with our deck is pretty much going into round 2 if we get bled. We want a round 3. Just a long round through this deck. Ah, uh, mages is it? Okay. So they want to generate patience. Right, right. It's probably a good idea to get rid of these. As much as we can. Put one of those in the graveyard. Hey, Dutchie, what's up, brother? How are you? Yes, SK. I believe you're going to like this deck. We got iced in this one, man. It's my next deck. I think we're versing some kind of a patience mage variation. I mean, it's good that we killed this off. Obviously, damage is a big concern. But yeah, we'll just keep thinning out. Don't you pester me. Not getting the way up hmm. We'll see how we go for points here. We don't really want to give up round control, but. I didn't get my full discard package. I didn't get Coral, didn't get Burner. Ooh. I could be passing on five cards, I think. Maybe if we get a good draw with that discard package next round, we can resist the bleed. Uh, it's a bit concerning too. Yeah, I'll pass on five. Iced is my main big bruv. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Blaze Warriors, man. It is. Alumni. It looks like it, hey. It does, man. How are you going with your monster decks? I saw you've been posting some comments. It's a bit rough this hand, isn't it? For a bleed. Damn. Ah, we got Coral. 
Good morning, KG. How you doing? Very well. How about yourself, Jay? Thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate it. Not so great, but a few wins with Frost. Ah, oh, nice. That's good. A few people have been enjoying Frost lately, by the sounds of it. Maybe I could go Primal Savagery onto that. Just gonna stay ahead on points. Uses it? Interesting. Okay. Right, right. Seven. Mm, looks like a good Hjalmar target, doesn't it? See, that's why it's good to get these in the graveyard early. But, you know, Brand gives us pretty good flexibility into a bleed it's it's not so harsh could be a lot worse otherwise so yeah let's get rid of that let's go stay ahead you like the cards by the decks ah uh, right right so you don't have many monster cards i'll just play this here so he's still got Burner in deck, Heime Skulled. Yeah, we've got a few discard targets though. This is a good Savagery target, we're probably just going to go here. We're just going to go 2 points of damage there, hit it with Savagery. Ah, uh, you just started collecting them. Yeah, don't get disheartened by your performance dude, like if you're not used to monsters, it's just like anything, it takes time to get used to it. Give it, give it time. Even if you feel you do really bad, you'll come around to it. I'm sure. I could, I could use that for a good Blood Eagle target too, though. Well, I do have this for Blood Eagle or that. Yeah, I think we're just going Savagery. Gives us the points. Hopefully they just pass now because we pushed... Well, we resisted this bleed well, so I'm hoping they just pass here. Yeah, Deathwish deck, great. I'd definitely suggest that for you, or if you go for my Gurnikora one, it's pretty ruthless too. Pretty fun to play. What just happened? <laughs> they didn't have a target for this? Right, interesting. Um, unusual. Well, seven points is good. We're pretty high on points here. I think they're passing, right? Alumni now? I could kill it. I do have a good target to kill that with here. Not sure what they're trying to do. Anyway, we'll shut them down. I think they should pass now. Gurney, I have. Don't have she who knows yet. Alright. Do these guys have 20 points? With this last card. So what are they doing here? Two points of damage to me. Eighteen points. No, it's not Seltkirk. They don't have it. They use Seltkirk first. Are they bluffing? I think they're bluffing here. Eighteen points. I think when a hero pass, yeah. What's up, Nate Dog? How are you, my friend? Welcome on. I think our opponent was bluffing here. I don't believe they have that many points. Unless I'm wrong. I'm, I'm taking a high roll here. The life of a source isn't a bed of roses, I tell you. <laughs> we got him. We got him. 
Oh, I love, I love a hero pass. I love a hero pass, man. Yeah, that's what's up, baby. That's it. I knew it. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was sick, man. That was sick. Bloody beautiful, man. Uh, burner? Maybe burner's still alright to hold on to. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Mm. Oh, I love it. Probably don't need double boat. Uh, no worries, man. Just telling it as it is, brother. It's all good. Go on his YouTube. Good, good. Yes, go and support him. Go subscribe. Go follow him on Twitch. Do all that stuff for the guy. Uh, what's up, proactive play? Probably ex we'll just open like this. It's fine. Pretty pretty over Saskia in KAB right now. <laughs> the most prevalent cards, right? We see them everywhere, man. Saskia dropped off a bit, but King of Beggars and Savola, I still see that, man. I still see those combos. Thanks so much for the follow, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Warriors without discard package seems really weak. I'd I'd say they're okay to be honest. Like if you got King Brand in your deck, it's it still feels alright. I made a variation without discard. This one's discard now, but it's worked for me in the past. So yeah, you know, feel free to experiment and see what works for you. <laughs> Greetings, Patriarch. Greetings to you too. <laughs> Today was more Saskia, no Milva. Ah, right. Traps, yes. Your mom ever you out. <laughs> I can do a great deal more for you. It's a good pull. Let's not get in the way of nice. We pretty much just want to uh, win round one with this deck and go for a long round three. That's it. Got Morkvarg for a good final say if something gets boosted. Reverting jackpot. Yeah. Well, I still got Burner here too. Oh yes, good pull, good pull. Use this as well. Uh, yeah, I could discard that. Nice. When we get our discard package around one, this deck feels very solid. I like it. Uh, should we go burner? <laughs> I just hope we're not gonna end up discarding something good. Okay. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Um, we can put one of those in graveyard for Harold later. Well, that would actually be good for later, I feel. Ah, oh, beautiful. Special price, just for you, lad. Twenty-four points in one turn. Can they do it? <laughs> Should we do a hero pass? It's not really. I don't know. What do you guys reckon they can make those points up? I could still play into it. I got Blood Eagle here. Blood Eagle should get buffed. What provision, you reckon? You think pass? I 
I think it's a lot of points, eh? Good pass? I, I agree, I agree. I think it's a fair bit of points. I want to see what they commit to get out of this. Simlas. No so they're going card down, you reckon? Oh, that's a weak pull, man. And the, uh, the, the dwarf's not even boosting here on the board. Nah, man. That ain't enough, my G. That ain't enough. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. No way. Literally just gets out of it, eh? <laughs> they almost risked more than two cards. Damn. Just don't go the long round three? Needs bleeding. Okay. Uh, still got Morkvarg in there. Morkvarg is very good for final say though. It is. I think we should thin the deck out. Don't you pester me. Uh, it's gonna be boat. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just take card advantage. I have to be careful with Blood Eagle. We've actually got a number of warriors in deck, luckily. We just don't want to pull uh, this Morkvarg. Or, um, or Yuta. We'll just put Yuta back too. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, I have to put one warrior back. Because I do have this. And we got savagery. Good, good. I don't know if it matters which realm stacking really. I'll just start like this. Yeah, Mokfar can do great work. Yeah, worked out good, huh? Yep, yep. That's a good kill for them, isn't it? Well, let's just make sure we have damage on the board. Um, hovering around so we just destroy whatever comes up. I'll just play it here. A large amount of buffering? Not sure why. Ah, right, yeah. Well, we actually kill this nicely. Yep. This is a great kill. Thank you. Very, very nice. Okay, so they're going with more um, hand buff business. We probably don't want this here. I could just go savagery onto it next. I think that works good still. Morkvarg should really help us here, final say. Uh, blood, yeah, I don't need, I don't need the death blow for this. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't need to go for something like very high cost in my deck. I'm just going to go for the Spear Maiden with it, so we'll just kill this off. Yeah, feels good. It's feeling good this match, guys. Feeling good. No mercy! That's sitting at six. Okay. 
Let's do this. We'll kill it with Blood Eagle into another Spear Maiden next. That should be good. Weird inclusion in hand buff. Uh, we may want to damage that. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I think I'm going this, actually. Let's take away that value. Controls felt pretty good this match, hasn't it? Like, we're just blasting whatever's coming up. Very nice. Very good feel. Yeah, sure. Good. Morkvark last for us. For sure. Probably see Talk now. Oh, that's pretty good too. That's a great point. Set. Oh yeah. We didn't even need to play a card here. It's, that's insane. <laughs> the, the control of this deck feels sweet, honestly. It feels really good. It feels great. Imagine Morkvark there, he would have blasted it. Get another. Very corpses. You don't fall to the crab, but it's still clog. You think? Hyper, yeah. Hey, Vero, what's up? Very well, thanks. How about yourself? Oh, it's Mill. Ooh, they hit Yuta out of all things. Well, I believe we're going to have to really push in hard here, my friends. To get round control. Maybe I'll hold it. Stunning blow. Interesting. So if we're thinning, isn't that bad? Because they're milling us. <laughs> it might make our situation worse, you know? Because we're already decreasing the cards in our deck. They, they just milled though. Snowdrop already? Okay. Not doing so well. Stomach flu? Oh, damn. Hope you get well soon. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully my stream can get your mind off it. <laughs> I hope to help you somehow. Yeah, it's it's pretty risky for me to to thin. But I have to Vigo? Yep. What is truth if not an Yeah, there it is. Oh, you know, our deck's full of gold here, man. This could be really bad. This could be very bad for us. I feel I should hold off the thinning a bit, shouldn't I? That in soup, nice. Warriors today, yep.
Discard to get your good ones. So then just 2-0. Kill that. Can I kill that with something? Um, okay. Let's do this. Okay, we'll get rid of this. Right? Yeah, 2 0 is pretty much. Well, most of the time, it pretty much is the only way to go, yeah. Yep, you're right. I should have done that last round. True, true. Hey, Pocus, what's up, man? Yeah, pretty good. How about yourself? Nice to see you on, my friend. So they just pulled Coral, right? For an even point. trying to think maybe this we we'll just get rid of that i might go mork fog here can i though i gotta i gotta get the death blow for that though hmm. Filling around After Effects. Yeah, playing some Skellige Warriors, man. Leader a unit, you think? Hmm. Do I have room here? I don't know if I should get a leader here. I don't know, man. It's. Don't you pester me. <laughs> this is rough. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay. Well, I can still get it back. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're gonna stay mentally in this. What does he play like on first round? The seven? Too late. And blood. Is that blood eagle you're trying to say? Snowdrop. I'll play this because it thins it to the melee row um, by using leader. Maybe it's okay. Blood Eagle does... Isn't it two points of damage? But we did have the Bloodthirst, didn't we? Do you think they have nine points? Do we pass? Or what should we do, you reckon? Vilgaforts, you think? Hmm. That could be an issue, eh? Vilg will be uneven? Do not pass. We had to go all in. I really didn't want to waste all those cards there, but... Okay. <laughs> Look what's left. Well, Hyama's pretty good, actually. But the rest, man... I don't know. 
Um... What's that play for? Eight? Maybe I just get rid of this? Shuffle. Well, I definitely need that. Would they have boosting now? Keep it. I don't know. Tell me if I did wrong. We'll see. I just wonder if we're going to have a target for this though. Brand maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. One card down. Don't say that. Yes! Alright, alright. Okay. I'm feeling positive. <laughs> the only problem is we're really wasting something here. Keeping brand was the play. Alright. Thanks for let me know, buddy. I was considering it to be honest. I was. Because yeah, I was thinking like boost was probably just first round best with snowdrop, eh? Time to get our hands dirty. Ah, it's all good, it's all good. Hey, it's not it's not your bad, it's my bad. I'm the one playing here. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Who wants to taste steel? Uh let's just do this. Let's see what it is. It's all good guys. It was a pretty tough first round. I probably could have played it a bit better using Mork Fargin first. Uh, they just go T-Ball maybe? If they go T-Ball it pulls out Bran. So... What's it gonna be? Oh, yes! Oh man, what a match! Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Damn, my hand's pretty gold heavy here. Uh, control's probably good. Uh, AKG just gonna be lurking around while I do work. Thanks so much for coming on in your busy schedule. Really appreciate it. I never doubted. It was either Vilg or 13. That's it, that's the confidence we want. Nah, thanks for helping me with that match, guys. It was it was pretty pretty tough and tight one to play around. Like I said, your guys' guess was as good as mine. I felt I could have done better using Mokvag in the first. Because I killed um I forget what its name is, that two power to simulate unit. Like I could have got the, the uh death blow with this. And I could have went into snowdrop with that, but it's okay. Things happen. Maybe we're right to do this. That was an epic match though, hey. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Going, going into that second round was nuts. I was feeling it, man. Yeah, that's true. You get very used to it, don't you? I wonder if I should play Coral here or maybe save it. Save it for when we get our discard kind of targets with Burner. Women, children, elders. Yeah, hard to know, yeah. Yeah, I guess we should we should try to save um, our discard package as much much as possible together if we can. I feel we're kind of wasting coral here if I play it. But you know they're going pretty tall into this one unit. I've got Morkvar. I don't know. I wonder if it's worth considering that. six they've gone really tall here it could be worth it man
Should we commit Mokfag? Then what are we going to push in with? Maybe do it. If I do it now, put me up on points. You reckon no? Continue after that. Maybe if we get a discard package. Uh. Hmm. You reckon now? Shouldn't we try to save it? And what, go discard package an extra round, you think? Because Mokfag would play pretty good. Alright, we'll do it. And we should try to bleed them next round with our discard cards. Blood Eagle, you think? You think it was better there? Bleed and go. That's all good, don't worry about it. What could Blood Eagle get us here though? Probably putting this one away. <laughs> it's really not good. I don't feel we bleed with this hand, to be honest. But they beat us last save. King for round three. I think the last say they beat us, man, but our hand's bad. We do have last say. It's like I could play Coral and just leave the order floating and then play into something. <laughs> You'd pass two. I'm going to play into it because I think they beat us, man. Just King of Beggars is... Because I wasted my tool punish. I wasted Mulkvard. So maybe I just push a bit and we'll just see what happens. I'll try. Because I do have some punish cards here. I do have this to get into something. Yo, Zubidoo, what's up, man? It's gone pretty good, bro. It's gone pretty good. We need to push enough for them to make commit cog. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Well, we could actually kill that off here. Oh, it's burner. What's blood eagle get me? I'm just afraid of last say, man. <laughs> Lita, Savola, all that. I'll just try something here. Can still lead a Yuta Ice. Yep, yeah, yeah. Monster player always bleeds. That's true, that's true. <laughs> but Skellig is different, you know. Just the way the cards work with the devotion tag and whatnot. But King Brand makes it feel heaps better. Come on, give me my discard targets. Stand before the Queen of 
Nothing. They didn't get anything. They're probably going to go Freak Show next, is it? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a touchy play here. Feels weak without it, you think? Well, I can still kill it off. Yeah, getting freak shouts good. Yeah, I know what you mean, Z. Yeah, bro, yeah. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. Yeah, it actually turned out all right somehow. But the following cards coming up are bricks, man. I'm telling you. It's concerning me, guys. We got a heavy deck. I think I'm passing here now. Yeah, I'd pass. Because I don't have Yuta set. So, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I think we did good, guys. I think we did good there. We pushed okay, right? Yeah. Good food and Boba Fett. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. So yeah, we just have to avoid these these discard cards. Ah, uh, okay. This one has to go back. Okay, that's good. Maybe we pull into a good target with this. It's probably likely at this stage. More quag skirmishes. Yeah, see. Oh, that's good. Very, very good. Yes. For Primal Savagery... I mean, we could set this up. But we're probably going to use it for Blood Eagle, though, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a bit awkward here, this. You reckon I got lucky touch? <laughs> yeah, it happens sometimes, man. At these stages, it does happen. Yeah, so many points, hey? This... Could this be the only spender? It's sitting at 12. I was gonna do it now, man. I'm doing it now. Take your King of Beggars away. I'm, I'm sick of versing this broken card. I wish to contact CDPR about this. I'm not happy. <laughs> nah, I feel we had to do that. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Here's the better loot than your wildest, wettest dreams. Burn the home, fell the trees, and the shiny plunder. Yeah, I had to go for it. Made it worse. Seems like it, hey. <laughs> so now they get more coins. Yeah, true, true. Uh, it's just Primal Savagery is gonna be... It's gonna be weak. We're just kind of screwed with that. This is gonna be two points of damage. Damage Junior? 
But what about Blood Eagle then? We miss out on Bran. <laughs> Pray. Um... Uh, let's pray for it. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Nice, nice! Come on! Oh, are you serious? Wait. Wait, it can't be. Oh, yes! Yes! That's what's up, man.